I want a community that sees the world as more than just left versus right. It believes politics should have more to do with the common good and how we can best live together. I want a community that doesn't tell me that I need to invent my identity. I have one, rooted in reality, my relationships, and something transcendent. I want a community that holds up marriage as a great good for adults, for children, for society, yet still offers healing to those who have suffered a breakdown in their own relationships. I want a community that recognizes I have the freedom to do what I want with my mind, body, and spirit. So like a mother, it counsels me to use my body in ways that do not harm my mind or my spirit. I want a community that sees the great benefits of science and technology, but will caution me from becoming subject to them, that believes they must serve the human person and not the other way around. I want a community that believes in progress, but is also concerned with where we should be going. I want more than mindfulness and being calm. I want a community that fosters a spirituality where prayer is not merely technique, but leads me into an intimate conversation with God. This community exists today and has persevered for thousands of years in hundreds of cultures, and it speaks in over 4,000 languages. This community compiled the greatest collection of wisdom ever known, transmitted it down through the ages, and will even help you make sense of it. This community contributed to the creation of universities and hospitals, has advanced science, philosophy, and art in so many ways, and continues to champion the cause of human dignity. The million humble places and different ways it offers charity just happen to make it the largest charitable organization on the planet. This is the natural result of a community that sees itself as the living body of Jesus Christ alive in the world. This community is the original community of Christians founded by Christ, known as the Catholic Church. Listen, we know the sins of our fallen members better than anyone, and we've seen the ways we are caricatured. Frankly, any of us could be used in ad hominem way to attack the whole. Do you really think you can reduce more than a billion people to that? We see ourselves as beginners, disciples, and that's all you need to be to be a member of His Church. The world pictures the Catholic Church as the Vatican or the Pope, perhaps a bishop in their cathedral or a priest in their parish. But when you look closer, you'll see simple men and women rooted in a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you are concerned that living out Christianity is becoming increasingly countercultural, you're right. Remember, at one time every nation state saw Catholicism as a threat to be silenced. Christ calls us out of the world, and that is, in fact, radical. So if you're sitting in a pew, or even if you're standing at a distance from the church, look up, look around. People like you and I will continue Christ's mission in the world. <laughs>